Hey Lobsire, it's been a while. In this video, I'll show you amazing GitHub add-ons that can completely transform your workflow and your GitHub project. By the end of the video, you might want to use some of them in your workflow daily. So let's get started. Gaia, Gia or whatever it's pronounced is a GitHub add-on that lets you create procedurally generated worlds using GitHub of course and uh, it's a really powerful and uh, empowering software. It has collection of generators included cellular, height map and walker. It allows for dynamic and unique world creation. Furthermore, you can fine tune your procedurally generated worlds with modifiers. You can add layers to add to the complexity. Then you are ready with your world. You can render out your generations using the renderer node. It's a really convenient option. You can render your generations to tile map, a grid map, meshes and textures or whatever you can code. It's a really amazing add-on and a good work by Benjak TK. I hope I pronounced that right. Good work. Guide or GUIDE GIDO Unified Input Detection Engine is a GIDO add-on that fixes a lot of the underlying issues with the GIDO's input detection system. It has many features and applies many fixes. To name a few, you can you can unify the input by handling many different kind of sources of input, like keyboard, mouse, gamepad, and touch can be all used at the same time using the similar ways of code. Inputs can be modified before being fed into your game code, so it gives you a lot more control. You can add things like sensitivity, inversion, conversion to 2D or 3D coordinates and a lot of different kind of stuff. This thing gives you way more control over your input and a lot more personality to your game. The most impressive feature for me is multiple contact system. In Gido, you cannot define which input action does based on context. For example, if you can use your arrow keys to move during a FPS game, you cannot use those same arrow keys to move through menus or other actions, for example in minigames and other kind of stuff. You can now define context and they will let you change that in real time. This way you can use the same kind of inputs in different settings. This is a really impressive feature and please check out the Terrorock YouTube channel or his YouTube channel. I will leave the link in the description. He has amazing tutorial explaining the whole add-on so I don't have to fuck myself with explaining the add-on how to use it. And he has many other impressive add-ons that I'll be mentioning in the future. Real good work. You can actually optimize your video game by packing your textures into a sprite sheet. Sprite sheets are generally more in performant since you're packing a lot of textures into a single atlas. Also, they are really good for uh, managing a large amount of sprites. Texture Packer is an individual software developed by WebCode that lets you pack textures into a simple sprite sheet. It's a really good way to organize and optimize your project. Texture Packer is not a good plugin but a software that works with pretty much all the game engines and framework. But Texture Packer Importer lets you import texture packer files directly into Gido, which makes the workflow way way faster so you can actually edit your texture packer files and let them update in real time it's a really amazing piece of software and a really amazing piece of Gido add-on these are both developed by web and code and is a really amazing work definitely check them out if you want to optimize your video game and organize it a sprite wizard is your one-stop solution to importing your a sprite files into Gido. It's developed by a person whose name I'm not even gonna try to pronounce and it has a gangaceous amount of features. To name a few, a sprite sprite frames use a sprite files as sprite frame resources. You can use a sprite files as static images only for the first frame. Use a sprites with style map and atlas which can only which can be added directly to Gido's tile set creator. Inspector docs to manual animation. Animations can be imported as Sprite 2D, Sprite 3D, Color Rex, Animated Sprite 2Ds, and Animated Sprite 3Ds. You can also import standalone resources. You can it also supports directions and uh, in directions of animations. Like you can uh, import directions 
of animation like reverse ping pong you know all that kind of stuff it also supports loopable, loopable animations separate each as sprite tag into animations you can slice your animations you can add filters and layers it supports it supports like a um, you know a texture atlas as animated sprites it converts a, sp a sprite frame durations into milliseconds according to the grow's fps system you can choose to expor export a single a sprite file or multiple or the layers or animations you can import them into animation player uh, there are too many features uh, to list for me so yeah you can just definitely go ahead and check this one out amazing work by this person yeah definitely you need to add uh, audio here to understand the pronunciation good work good work uh, this guy also got a youtube channel this is Vini. Uh, yeah thank god he changed the name to the channel please check out his youtube channel really good content out there as well and uh, yeah definitely good work by Vini. or whatever this is a good add-on that was inevitable to exist Gido Git is a Gido add-on that lets you use the infamous GitHub or Git service and lets you use version control and committing in Gido. It's a really amazing tool for collaborating with friends or making your project completely secure from your PC crashes. Gido Git is a Gido add-on that is pretty interesting and useful. To be honest, I personally just use the GitHub desktop app which does the same functionalities without having to install a separate extension. But if you're willing to use Git itself, I, I am really just go ahead. For those not aware, Polyhaven is a free website for HDRI, 3D models and textures. It's a public website that has a huge libraries of textures and HDRI for developers and artists to use. Gido add-on called Polyhaven Import lets you import all of these assets directly from the Gido engine. This makes the process of iterating between graphics and using things like HDRI and textures really easy. The add-on is, is still in development and I hope the developer adds features to make the process more easier. Definitely a good and that would be it for today's video. I hope some of these add-ons were useful to you. I will try to make detailed videos on some of these if you ask me in the comments or, or whatever. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you like to support me you can you know you know, you know the drill you can subscribe or whatever you, you want. And uh, yeah that's it for today's video and uh, sorry I haven't made any videos in a while. And I'll try to get more consistent. I'm been to some issues. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.